In this video, we will replicate the code we have seen in the previous two videos, but this time using Rust and Golang. Let's start with the Rust version. Clone the v01 Rust branch from the repository and install the dependencies. In this project, we will only need Cairo, Progress Bar, and Rand. The code is in the examples folder. In the first file, we are creating an animation with random pixels. In the case of Rust, it only allows sending data through pipes using 8-bit and signed integer data. This is a bit cumbersome, but the advantage of using Rust is that memory usage is more efficient than in other languages. As we can see, the structure of how we send raw data is basically the same as in Julia and Python. We create a process, get the standard input through a pipe and pass the raw data every time we create a frame. The Cairo implementation is a bit different than how we did it with Python or Julia. In the case of Rust, we have to take ownership into account, which is a bit weird. The weirdest thing is that we have to use the drop function, which I don't understand at all, but according to this good Samaritan it is necessary to use this function before accessing the data. I am not an expert in Rust, so I must investigate more about it. Another difference is that you have to use the take data method instead of get data, this in order to avoid the ownership. To get the raw data, we have to use the as ref method, which will return the vector with the pixels in 8-bit and signed integer format. In this case, we do not have to use Cairo's finish function, since, thanks to the ownership, the memory is automatically cleared. We may notice that the speed of Rust is a little faster than Julia and Python. Doing some research, I came across this repository called Noon, which as its readme indicates, is an animation library inspired by Manim and based on another library called Nanu. If we clone the repository, we will see that the code has many similarities with Manim. And we can even do transformations as we do with Manim. If you are a fan of Rust, I recommend you to check this project. I am going to review these projects in depth to see what I can learn. As a gift to you, I have left an extra version of Animated, but in Golong. As you may remember, I said that this course we were going to use only Julia and Rust, but I discovered that Golong also has a Cairo API, and I was curious to implement our program in Golong. If you analyze the code, you will see that it is very, very similar to Julia and Python. We can notice that here we also have to use the finish function to not choke the RAM, but in general the rest is exactly the same. If we compare the speed we will see that this version is slightly slower than the rest, but if you are a fan of the Golang language, you might find it interesting. In addition to this, I also found that there is a library called Golang Graphics, which is basically a version of Cairo, but entirely written in Go, so this library does not call the C libraries. In order to get the raw data you have to use a different process, but nothing too complicated. In conclusion, it is theoretically possible to create a version of Manim with Julia, Rust or Golang, and the speed is basically the same in all of them, since they are internally calling C libraries. Thus we finished the first step to create our animation libraries. 
we have learned how to get the raw data and then pass it to FFmpeg, and this will be the methodology we will use to build our animation libraries. If the information you have obtained here has been useful to you, remember that you can support this project via Patreon or PayPal. As a special offer, I remind you that you can buy my two professional Manum courses for only $50, that is, the basic and intermediate course. The basic course costs $30 and the intermediate course costs $40, but if you buy the bundle, you can get both courses together for only $50. In case you have already purchased the basic course and want to buy the intermediate course, you can use the coupon you see on the screen to get $10 off only the intermediate course. These offers will be valid until June of this year. In the next video, we will learn the basics of Morpho and Reanimate, we will study a little of their source code and we will compare them with what we have done so far.